Hi, I'm Dr. Abney, the health officer for the Charles County Department of Health. I probably look a little different to you today because I'm not wearing my work clothes. I'm wearing purple with my pearls to celebrate the fact that September is National Recovery Month. Here in Charles County, the health department and the entire county is celebrating the people who are in recovery and the people who support them. Join us and help us celebrate our fellow citizens who are in recovery. Thanks for tuning in, Charles County. I'm Doria Fleischer, your Community Engagement Coordinator, and I'm so happy to be joined here today with Karen Black, the Director of the Local Behavioral Health Authority for the Charles County Health Department. Karen, thanks for coming in today. I'm glad to be here. Karen, it means a lot to me that you're here to talk about National Recovery Month in September, yeah? Yes. Tell us about what you do at the Health Department. So I'm the Director of the Local Behavioral Health Authority Division. We oversee the public behavioral health system, so that is all services and treatment providers um, in the county that work with individuals both with any type of mental health issues or substance use issues, um, as well as doing a lot of public education like today. And when we talk about National Recovery Month, we're talking about people who have struggled with substance use disorder, yeah? Yes. Tell us what substance use disorder is and, and the impact that has on residents in our community and their, and their loved ones. So substance use disorders are, um, situations where individuals are really struggling to um, manage oftentimes all aspects of their life, um, including it can be in, uh, whether they're having difficulty at work or it oftentimes impacts their personal relationships but at home or being able to take care of their children. Um, or for young people, a lot of times it can be coping with the stressors of just growing up. Yeah. Um, the insidious thing about substance use is that it, there is no one look mm. to people. So it impacts a person regardless of what kind of home environment they have, regardless of what kind of job they have or how much money they make, um, regardless of what race or ethnicity they are. Um, it really does impact everyone. And unfortunately, it doesn't just impact the individual who's struggling. Um, substance use addiction can really, um, really does impact everyone in the family, right. um, anyone who's close to them. So whether it's an extended family or just their network of friends, um, it really is a community issue. Mm. It's not an individual or even just a family issue. We've come a long way with that in our community, yeah, of, of going from kind of blaming the person who might be struggling and saying, this is your fault, you chose to do this, to really seeing this as a, a mental health problem that, that we should treat like other health issues, yeah? Yeah, we're making a lot of progress in that area, Good. but there's still a lot of room to grow. Yeah. Um, that is one of the reasons why we're doing the Go Purple campaign is to bring yeah. awareness to, um, Opiate use disorders, substance use disorders um, can be a variety of different substances. Mm -hmm. um, the Go Purple campaign is in reaction to or in response to the um, overwhelming epidemic of opiate use mm. disorders that are across the nation, right. um, and in particular overdoses as a result of opiate use. So tell us about the Go Purple campaign here at the health department, what does that look like? So we are launching our Go Purple campaign here for Charles County. Um, September is National Recovery Month, as okay. you mentioned, um, and we're using that as our launching pad for the Go Purple campaign. It is to bring awareness around what substance use disorders look like, in particular opiate use disorders. Okay. Um, it's also around reducing stigma mm. um, and creating um, a more compassionate and supportive community for individuals who are struggling with opiate use disorders. Yeah. Um, there is no person that wakes up one day and says, oh, I wanna grow up to have a heroin addiction or right. an opiate addiction. Um, people don't ask for this, even though um, traditionally our society has said that it's a personal choice. Right. Um, addiction isn't a personal choice. We know that it's a medical condition. Um, it's a brain disorder. And it's important for people to know that. I think it helps people have more compassion when we're able to define it as not a personal choice, but as a, 
a medical condition or a mental illness. Definitely. And I think it, it changes from it being a, you know, good, good luck. You fix this, you figure this out yourself to as a community, how can we wrap around each other? Yeah. And, and make this a community response. So the health department has a really important event coming up in September. Yeah. Yes. On September 23rd, we have our um, recovery celebration. Together We Rise is our theme for the year, and it is going to be at the rail trail behind the health department, um, and it's from 10 until 2 on September 23rd. That's beautiful. Um, if people are interested in more information about that, they can go to the health department's webpage that will take you to our Eventbrite page. People are welcome to register so that we can anticipate how many people might be interested in joining us, but it's going to be a family fun day. We're going to have music. We're going to have food, lots of um, activities and some people selling crafts um, and lots of people sharing information about a variety of different services that are available in the county. Um, so we're really hoping that we can get a good turnout um, because we really do think that this is going to be kind of a fun fair type yeah. environment. It's, it is a beautiful thing to celebrate. And yeah. I'm so glad that when the health department puts on events, it's going to be a good one. So I'm hoping people will come out to White Plains on the 23rd. And Karen, what's one thing you want our community to really remember throughout the month of September when we think about substance use and when we think about the Purple Campaign? If there's one thing that I hope people get from the Go Purple Campaign is that every person um, deserves recovery. Mm. Um, and that recovery is possible. So yes, there are a lot of people out there who are struggling with substance use disorders. Um, and yeah, sometimes it takes people a longer time to find recovery, but recovery is possible for everyone and it looks different for everyone. Mm. So if our community can have compassion and be supportive and, um, help our loved ones or our community friends to find their path to recovery, that is ultimately the best outcome of having the Go Purple campaign. Wonderful. Karen, thank you so much for being here. Karen Black, the director of the Local Behavioral Health Authority for the Charles County Health Department. Thank you. Thank you. Join us on September 23rd for the Charles County Recovery Celebration. Together we rise.